Oh, what's good, man? My name is Flim Low Raps, and I want to welcome you guys to my backstory to the NBA 2K18 My Career Story. Now, if you're new here, bro, you may not know a big part of what we do on this channel is storytelling. We, we do it in our RTGs on NCAA. I've done it in Dynasties on NCAA, Madden. But this year, we're going to be playing through the NBA 2K18 My Career. Now, because 2K has their own story, I'm going to mostly just let that play out and kind of see what it is. But at the same time, I will have theories and breakdowns and kind of maybe filling gaps that they leave. So if you end up enjoying this video, bro, don't forget to click the like button. And like I said, subscribe if you enjoy this content. And if you want to be here for our My Career playthrough, by the way, my prelude playthrough is in the description. Now, this is a thousand percent theory and this may be debunked on the first day that NBA 2K18 actually comes out and we get a little bit further in the story. But this information is just based based on the storyline that we were able to see in the prelude and this is one of my theories as to what might be going on don't forget to let me know in the comment section what you think of my theory and leave your own theories if you got something different all right let's go so why would i my career character quit ball to become a dj and then quit djing to play ball again randomly now i haven't played through a full nba 2k my career story in a while but hopefully with you guys support on the 2k videos i'll be able to complete the story this year it started out a bit corny and 2k characters always seem over the top and i think a lot of that has to do with the fact that they got to make these characters fill up a whole screen but they can't use profanity it's something about profanity and realism because we all use it in our day-to-day -day speak like ATM spaz out after he doesn't get picked was probably cringe to some people but if you throw a couple f-bombs in there it's probably mean worth it. like it changes the whole thing speaking of ATM I know that your choice to push back versus him or be cool with him in the prelude changes him from your rival to your friend so you can affect that outcome so because the story has dynamic outcomes I don't know what that means for our backstory I don't know if we got multiple or maybe we don't have one at all we'll have to see but here's my theory if you look at the apartment in the prelude it's pretty damn nice up to this point in our lives we've been making all of our bread through djing it seemed like we're doing pretty damn good now this leads me to multiple conclusions so stick around for this so after playing the prelude the first conclusion i came to was if we're making enough money to support this apartment with the damn basketball court in it why would we give that up? Maybe a family member like our mom, dad, or brother, or even a friend had a dream of becoming a DJ and they passed away and we lived it out for them. And while yeah, that's a possibility, I'm gonna give 2K a little bit more credit than that. I think maybe this goes a little bit deeper as far as the story is concerned. Now, a lot of people was asking this question. Who the hell is this chick? Well, maybe this is her crib. Now stay with me. In one of Gento's early My Career videos, the agent comes by the house. And as a matter of fact, I think the prelude itself cut off right before that scene. But anyway, the agent comes by the house and we tell him that she's staying with us and it's a long story. I think maybe the story is so long because we're really staying with her. And I got a theory that she is also a hooper. And maybe the agent doesn't recognize her because she played overseas or maybe he just doesn't keep up with women's basketball in the most non-offensive way possible she looks hella tomboyish and again there's a basketball court in this house bro somebody gotta explain that but there's no dj equipment anywhere i would expect to see some speakers a turntable or something if this is our crib not just a basketball court now again if we never really loved djing it's just something we kind of fell into it could still explain why we'd use all of our djing money to get a crib with a basketball court in it and no dj equipment but due to the parameters that 2k has to use to tell these stories i don't know how much death they want to go into i also don't think they want to go into us being extorted or maybe having to pay back medical bills or some drug money or something like that not to mention if we were hot as they say we were and we can get into the nba now it feels like we could have gotten to the nba then to get the money to pay whatever we needed to pay anyway this is the one small part that really made me think this is her crib and that she's an ex hooper when we leave the crib we throw a chest pass to a female with the phone in her hand and immediately turn and walk off like it's nothing of course she catches it like it's nothing 
Now, if I throw a chest pass to my girl while she's holding her phone, she's either dropping the phone, the ball, or both. I'm just saying. I'm most definitely not turning around all cavalier like it's nothing. I'm gonna be like, oh, you, you got it, you know what I mean? Not to mention that once again, she already looks tomboyish. I'll also bet that we're gonna play with her in a two on two or against her in a 1v1 or maybe a three point shootout on this big ass court in our house. I can't get over that, I know. Now this all makes perfect sense other than one thing, that intro. When I watched it through the first time, it seemed like everybody knows this. We walking down the street, we giving dabs, we, you know what I mean? And technically, we could have been staying here for a while. But when I watch it back, I realize only four people recognize us. The doorman? Obviously, we would see him every day and based on the very nature of his job, he gotta know who we are if we coming in and out of his building. By the way, we have a doorman, bro. These dudes across the street call us my guy. They have no idea who we are. These two random dudes on the stoop recognize us. Maybe these are the guys we're gonna play two on two against later, or maybe this is a shop that they're sitting in front of, or maybe they own a shop, I'm not sure. And the last guy that recognizes us is the barber. Now, if I've been anywhere for more than two weeks, the barber, the nearby barber is gonna know who I am, bro. Cause I gotta get a fade, I need one now. <laughs> So that's my theory. It's a good chance I'm reading way too deep into this, but again, as a storyteller myself, this seems like a likely option for 2K, a likely direction for the story to go in. But again, this is all obviously just a theory, just speculation, man. Let me know in the comments if I'm reading way too deep and if the story is just super straightforward, or if you think my theory is correct. Either way, man, if you enjoyed the video, click the thumbs up button, and let me know in the comments section that you dug it, and maybe we'll come up with a few more. My name is Flimlo Raps, one.